Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Jesse Snow, and this is Daily Bread. Today, we're going to start reading out of Genesis chapter 35, verse 1. The new visitors are always welcome. So after you leave your love and your thoughts in the comments, make sure to share this to Facebook and Twitter. But before we get started, let's open in a word of prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. This is Genesis chapter 35, verse 1. Then Moses, gathering all the congregation of the children of Israel together, and said to them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded you to do. Your work shall be done for six days, but the seventh day shall be a holy day for you, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work on it shall be put to death. You shall kindle no fire throughout your dwellings on the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take from among you an offering to the Lord. Whoever is of willing heart, let him bring it as an offering to the Lord. Gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, ram skins and dyed red, badger skins and acacia wood, oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones and stones to be set on the ephod and in the breastplate. All who are gifted artisans among you shall come and make all that the Lord has commanded, the tabernacle, its tent, its coverings, its clasps, its, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the ark and its poles, with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and its poles, all its utensils and the showbread, also the lampstand for the lights, its utensils, its lamps, and the oil for the light, the incense altar and its poles, the anointing oil, the sweet incense, and the screen for the door at the entrance of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with its bronze grating, its poles, all its utensils, and their laver, and its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars and their sockets, and the screen for the gate of the court, the pegs of the tabernacle, the pegs of the court, and their cords, the garments of ministry for the holy garments, ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron, the priests, and the garments of his sons, to minister as priests. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. Then everyone came whose heart was stirred, and everyone whose spirit was willing, and they brought the Lord's offering for the work of the tabernacle of meeting, for all its service, and for the holy garments. They came, both men and women, and as many as had a willing heart, and brought earrings and nose rings, rings and necklaces, all jewelry of gold, that is, every man who made an offering of gold to the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen and goat's hair, red skins of rams, and badger's skins brought them. Everyone who offered an offering to, of silver or bronze brought the Lord's offering. And everyone whom was found acacia wood for any work of the service brought it. All the women who were gifted artisans spun yarn with their hands and brought what they had spun of blue, purple, and scarlet and fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom spun yarn and goat's hair. The rulers brought onyx stones and the stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate, the spices and the oil for the light, for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a free will offering to the Lord. All the men and women whose hearts were willing to bring materials for all kinds of work which the Lord by hand of Moses and had commanded to be done. And Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name 
Bezalelel, the son of Eri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship, to design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, and cutting jewels for setting and carving wood, and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship. And he has put in his heart the ability to teach in him and Aholiab, the son of Eshamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do the manner of all manner of work, of the engraver and the designer and the tapestry maker, in blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen, and of the weaver those who do every work and those who design artistic works. I'm going to stop right there at Exodus chapter 36 today. I'd like to thank everybody again for joining. I really do hope you enjoyed reading along with me. If you did, you can hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to continue to read along with me, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now, next time, we're going to start reading out of Exodus chapter 36. But before we go, let's close in a word of prayer. Father, Lord God, thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for your bread. Thank you for your water. Lord, thank you for this temple that you built in us, making us perfect. Father, we know that you can put anything you need in us to do any work. As long as we're willing and seeking to serve you, seeking to obey you. God, you are righteous and good. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. In your name we pray. Amen.